You got back at your mom recently because yeah. uh, I'm told your mom played a prank on you a long time ago. She did. And uh, it was, it was uh, pretty much... Uh, it was a big prank, and you decided to get back at her. Is that That's right? That's right, yeah. Why don't you tell the story of what your mom did to you first? Sure. So I was around 12, and she decided that it was like, it's time, I'm going to leave you at home alone for the first time. Like, it was like a rite, rite of passage thing. It was like, I'm only going to go out for an hour in the middle of the day on a Sunday, but you're going to stay home alone, and, you know, and this is like opening the door for growing up. Great. So because I'm a child, and apparently to that point in my life had never really experienced fear, I was like, I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to take a shower at home alone. Sure. And so I take the shower, and then I get out, and only like five, ten minutes has passed, and I know she's gotten into the car and left, and I, I think I can hear her in the apartment. So I'm like, Mom? There's no response. Mom? Nothing. And again, because I'm impossibly brave at this point in my life, I open the door. Mom? Step out. Mom? Ah! And she jumps out and grabs me. What? And I literally scream, cried, and peed. <laughs> All over the floor. Like, a lot of pee. <laughs> and as she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The pee's just I'm going. Sorry. Like, like, <laughs> I'm sorry? I'm yeah. sorry? What kind of mother does that? I, and I'm like, what was this plan? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make her think that it's a rite of passage. I'm going to leave for five minutes in the car and then scare the crap out of her. I don't know. Anyway, so that was like 20 years ago. I've never gotten her back. And has it haunted you since? <laughs> I literally can't shower with the door closed. So if there's, a, if there's somebody else in the house, then it's fine. Like, I, I can close the door. But if I'm home alone or I'm at a hotel or whatever, the door has to stay open, and I literally have to, like, I don't close my eyes in the shower. Like, I watch out the door, like, to this day. Which I never realized until recently. I was like, that's a direct reflection of this trauma you I had. I don't understand if your mom was having fun or was she trying to teach you a lesson, like, you never know who's in the house. <laughs> Which isn't know. even a, which isn't even a lesson. That's no. just wrong. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm real mad at your mom. I, I, well, so was I for decades. All right. So what'd you do? So this week's episode of Superstore, which I wrote, by the way. Oh, um, congratulations! Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. So my character is pregnant on the show, and there's an ultrasound at the top of the episode. So we had to have a really good prosthetic belly, and I was like in my trailer, and I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror, and I was like, "This is it. This is it." Twenty years later. So I took some selfies where I'm looking very kind of sullen in the picture, and I text you them. you looking very, very pregnant. Very pregnant, and it's a bare belly. Like, it's a really authentic belly. And I text them to my mom, and I'm like, listen, the reason Dina is pregnant on the show is because I've kept a secret from you. I'm, I'm very pregnant with my ex-boyfriend's baby. Oh, my God. And uh, I didn't know how to tell you, so here you go. And I hit send, and then, like, immediately I'm getting all caps texts back that are like, what are you talking about? You have to call me. You can't text that. And then my phone's ringing, and I'm like, send a voicemail. And she's, like, scrolling. <laughs> You can't just text that to somebody. And I was like, just like, I'm, I'm not like this at all, but I was just like drunk with power. I was like, this is delicious. Um, and so then I was like, I just let her sit in it for a good like five minutes. And then I had Ben Feldman on the show film me, call her on speakerphone to reveal to her that it was actually just a prank and I was not actually pregnant. Okay, we have that moment, I think, uh, <laughs> here. I think this is you finally letting your mom off the hook. Yeah. You're a pair of monsters. Let's take I, a look. Yeah, it's true. Well, I just, I, I didn't know how to tell you, and I know it's been like such a dramatic time and everything that I felt like this was probably the way that, that I should tell you. <laughs> it's a prank, Mom. It's a prank. It's a prank. This, this is pay... <laughs> this is payback for when you scared me when I was 12 and I peed. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Okay, okay. that's fair. <laughs> In that moment of her soul being destroyed and then slowly reassembled, like assessing, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, you are horrible people. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> God awful. But it felt great. Yeah. So you wrote this uh, this week's episode. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank are you, so are you much. writing a lot of episodes? Um, no, this was the first one, and I kind of like asked to do it on a lark. Like I, you know, I have writing experience from back in Canada, but I hadn't written anything for TV in America, and I was like, hey. I'd be interested. And they were like, all right. I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. I'm really proud of you. Superstore uh, airs Thursdays at 8 on NBC. Uh, Lauren Ash, uh, I'm so happy that you're, I'm so happy that you're with a good guy. <laughs> I really you. am. Me too. I, I mean, I just, I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> These horrifying stories. So I know. You I want to meet this guy someday. Yeah, I'll bring him. All right. Not right away. Uh, <laughs>